What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Big Bro and Lil Sis Reacts. I'm the Big Bro. This is Lil Sis. Hey. And today we are on Suicide Squad Isekai, uh, episode four. Um, we last slept off realizing that the one of the enemies controlling, I think it was like the wolf dog or whatever, it was Ratcatcher, um, the first one. So he was controlling them, which is why they were like mindlessly fighting despite how much pain um, you know that they took and what was thrown out and they just kept going relentlessly um but yeah so it, it appears that amanda sent a original suicide squad in here and they sort of went rogue and kind of oh my god i was so confused what you talked about that we were watching batman oh no this is suicide squad i, I literally said what we were watching yeah i, I don't listen to that clearly Anyway, um, so we, there are other people, which is why I think Poison Ivy was in the intro. So there are other people here that we got to figure out what they're doing, why they took over, probably take them down. Which is probably why I also Amanda put the kill chips in the second team, because yeah. So let's jump into this, you guys. Full and early reactions are available on Patreon. <laughs> What is that? Come on out. Where is he? I knew he was a chicken shit. Say, Harley, do you know the trick to hunting rats? Come on, Puddin. I don't want to hear a bunch of stuff about rats right now. I get it, honey pie. Nobody enjoys the sight of filth, do they? There are just too many dirty rats infesting the city. Seriously, Joker? Can't hide forever? Take the gangs. They spend their time shooting places up, stealing money, and kidnapping people. They're the gutter trash of all society. Does that say happy hearties? The best way to hunt them down is simple. They're showing a lot of Joker. Mm -hmm. I wonder what part he's going to play. Uh, morning. I like I that this version like of the is toxic. It's refreshing. So, I'm guessing nothing's changed. Yeah, did you guys actually get the job done? Don't go so bitching to me about it. We might have gone a little bit overboard, but we got rid of yeah, they were mad. The job's done. I'm more worried about our next. Time left, 12 hours and 8 seconds. Coming back here was a mistake. Hmm? Hmm. Excuse me? I remember you sitting next to the queen. Might you be the lovely princess of this land? I am. My name is Fiona. Gorgeous name. Wherever does it come from? Is it some kind of flower? Or from your folklore or something? something? Uh, yeah, screw all that noise. Look, girlie. <laughs> screw all that noise. When the hell are they letting us out? I'm afraid I do not have the answer to that. However, given the contributions you made in retaking our fort, they should treat you better. Okay, I mean, this sounds a lot better. I suppose that doesn't help much, does it? No, but we need to feed this shark, because he'd be hungry. Right. What is it? You've been eyeballing me since yesterday. I Think I ever her, noticed? Her classic suit. You got something you want to say to me or what? Oh, Y'all look alike. I'm already. So what's got you so bad out of shape? I'm not. Just something about the look of this little princess rubs me the wrong way. She's too damn timid to speak her mind and freaked out about what other people think. Like a little wimp I once knew. Yourself? <laughs> Arlene? Princess. You mustn't come here, especially without an escort. It's about damn time, asshole. Let's go. The queen is summoned. <laughs> uh, usually pains in the ass like you kill off the start. Leave the shark, please. There's a rat catcher. I feel like this intro has changed a little bit. <laughs> taller feel indeed but i've never climbed to the top by myself cut the fancy talk remember you're supposed to be a commoner do forgive me oh uh, sorry God. how's your little brother no doing is he feeling any better i know he was sick yeah more or less but they hiked up the prices on bread and eggs again and there's no more chimneys left to sweep maybe i'll just have to get him dirty myself don't do that Taking trips into the city to play around. 
It was the guards who told me of your whereabouts. Don't blame Cecil. In fact, he did his best to try and cover for you. You should be ashamed. You encouraged the future commander of the Royal Knights to lie to me. We are members of royalty. We have a higher status and different purposes from the peasants. Now go clean yourself up. Mother the entitlement is crazy. If we have a role to play in the kingdom, what is it? To bring an end to the war. It's almost time to begin, but milady, there really is no need for you to attend. No, I'm going. I would like to be there. There's so many, I've never seen anything like it. Cecil, report. The Imperial Army is marching toward the plains through the Great Forest. Fortunately, they have been moving at a rather slow pace. However, the guards we posted at the reclaimed fortress will not be enough to handle their numbers. Unless we act now, they will cross the bridge within a day or two. Excuse me? Why are you keeping us in shackles and shit? I thought we had to deal with the big chair lady about being set free. Know your place when you speak. This is a war council. A war council? You have some nerve after destroying the very fort I sent you to reclaim. Oh, so are we like getting executed or something? You there, near the aisle. Who is the one leading this army? And how is it they could keep such strict command of their troops? Mind control. <clears throat> Okay, so before we get into all that, could you please tell me the events leading up to this war? Yeah, I'd like to have a better understanding of the situation. Our kingdom has been waging war against the Imperial forces for multiple decades. Damn. For a long time, they were mere skirmishes, but it has intensified drastically in these last six months. Mostly due to the fact that the elves and beastmen betrayed us to side with the Empire. They betrayed you? That's right. The beastmen who we fought at the fort the other day were once subjects of our kingdom. Oh, uh, because they're being mind controlled by rat catchers. It's not or, their fault. Perhaps they just didn't care much for your kingdom. You guys got a point. I mean, just look at how you treat your war heroes. I would assume it was rat catcher who caused the beastmen to betray you. Rat catcher, you say? The person who's currently in charge of their army. Back in our world, he had the unique power to communicate with rodents. So it's very likely he used that ability with the beastmen here. He never had that much power when I was living in the joint. Shut up. We need to get our asses out of here right now. Then how do you suggest we put a stop to their forces? Okay. Way to stop the rat. Why they were smart enough to give charge. More like how to hunt him. Why didn't you and your little pals just blow his head off after he went rogue? We planted a bomb in that rat bastard's net too, right? We did, but they somehow got deactivated without me noticing. Which wow. is probably why Director Waller made sure yours included a countdown. Well, ain't that some shit? If that is all, then I'm afraid it's back to the prison. Hunting you. rats! Hmm? The trick hunting rats? How'd I forget? You're a genius, Button! <laughs> One minus step if you got it. I'm not drunk! I was just remembering my button telling me how to get rid of rats! Anybody that spotted before would come to the same conclusion, right? Except it requires us to both stop his army and force him to the front lines. There's not enough men. Your Majesty, may we use a portion of your army? And when we stop their forces this time, will you grant us the freedom you promised? How dare you even suggest that? I think it would be beneficial to us if we show these people some trust. Correct. Please, you should stay after this these princess. People, Are you willing to bear the crazy. responsibility if these fools end up getting our troops killed? <clears throat> princess, that would be far too reckless. The only knights who are still fit for battle are the ones directly under me. You've got a whole bunch of guys raring to go. Oh, unless she suggests that you use the prisoners, like how they're being used by Waller. <laughs> hey guys, how are ya? Hot babe. Okay, quiet down, boys. If we work real hard today, you can kiss prison goodbye. I don't know about your situation, but these people seem like criminals. Doesn't it bother you to fight alongside such rabble? Do I look happy about it to you? A proper soldier must always follow the orders they're given from the top, right? This is where we are. And the barriers that Clayface set up are here, along with the defense line of knights and ogres. It was a rush job, so it's not the best. Yeah. Nah, it'll be fine. Take this most seriously. The very face of our kingdom depends on this. Where's your other friend? I don't see him around. 
He's on the roof. What? To keep watch? Let my men handle that. Nah, just leave him be, Pinky. You can't make a sandwich without melting the butter and frying the bacon up to a crisp, right? I'll take over if he screws it up. Don't you worry. We'd love to know more about Princess Fiona. You don't speak for me. Of course not. I couldn't help but notice that she wanted to ask us something. She is very kind-hearted. There is no one in the castle who cares for our subjects as much as she. There should be a better rule she than her mother. She doesn't care about anybody else. She's just a whiny, self-loathing loser who hates herself. Will you hold your tongue? She is thoughtful and considerate. Are they here, Nanoe? This was what she did. I shall take command of the knights from the front. And your team will lead the ogres. We don't kind of do squat. Green Bean and his friends are ready for action. You're the only ones here with any experience fighting against the enemy commander. It's no big diff whether a few of us join you out there or not. Think about it, right? Yeah, it's far too uncivilized for me. <laughs> and I would hate to get all square. They're petty. My job is Stress to act this so up. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Damn it! What is wrong with you people? Hey, wait! <sighs> Okay, time to hit him with your best shot. Dread shots on the roof to shoot rat catcher. What the hell? Barriers. Where did those come from? Are those prisoners? <laughs> so they think they've amassed enough soldiers to stop us? Not by a long shot. I'm about to enrage them. How can we compete with that? There's no way to them. It's gotta take the rat catch out. To them, our pride is the royal knight! Hearts and souls to the cause! Shot the staff. I'm gonna shove firecrackers up your bossy assholes. Horny bastards humping each other all the damn time. Huh? Yeah. Oh, you're done. They're about to rip Somebody you apart. Can explain the real plan? Huh? I thought this was your idea. <laughs> Whatever. Ratcatcher himself doesn't actually control the beastmen, so I figured it has to be Because he said he didn't have that power as a prison. So we need to find a way to lure him out into the open. Yep, and then, blammo. No, it was all for this. They built those barriers and gathered up those troops just to goad me into powering up my beasts on the front lines. Oh, oh they're pissed. Oh, what is this? Hold on. Look, uh, I don't need this thing. We're friends, we're buddies, right? We're I'm kind of scared for him. There ain't no getting out of that. Them down is simple. You can't even outrun that. Nope. What? Oh, this is back in the Oh, okay. What the hell was that? Hardly dangerous. You, you want something? Listen, pal. Watch out here for the Joker. There it is! It's just a bastard! Trick him. What? You tricked him. So there he is, shoot the bastard. They kind of confused both sides of the shooting and killing each other. It was two different gangs. You make the rats feed on each other. Oh, That's what how they did. So smart. I did that lousy punk bitch so many favors. Try to put some kindness in the world and it comes back at you with thorns. Oh, you dig? Are those nights really good? What is going on? Wait. Yeah, before you what try to arrest do? us. Do we have to explain everything to you? We beat him, like we said we would. Which means we're free to go. Commander, I have a message. The enemy army is willing to surrender. What shall we do? We should accept it. Okay. 
Those are Jedi allies, What's going on? What is this? Are they not going to fight? A messenger. Are they not going to fight? No. Brains over Bron. He says the battle of the blades has been won! They've done it, mother! Oh, she wanted folks to die. What's the matter, mother? Yeah. No, she mad people didn't die. Mm -hmm. That lady's crazy. She like, they did this, that. I think, too, it's also like, they outsmarted me. Like, they think they're better than me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They know who they're dealing with. They think outside the box. They think outside of y'all magical realm. Um, but that makes sense. Instead of them going to war again in a battle they couldn't lose, it was all about, you know, outsmarting your enemy. And as Harley's flashback kind of showed us, making the enemy fight itself. So, mm -hmm. um we also learned a lot of the context on why they were fighting the wolves in the first place. So the wolves used to be their ally, which we also saw in the little girl's flashback, right. Princess Fiona. Yeah. Um, she had a wolf friend. Uh, but yeah, Ratcatcher was controlling them with his staff. Um, it was a lot of foreshadowing, because like I said, Deadshot had said he didn't have those powers. And uh, Flag was like, shut the hell up. I was like, oh, so he's lying. But no, Ratcatcher definitely is controlling them, but it was his staff, not Ratcatcher himself having any power. Where he got the staff from is a good question, though. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what their goal is. I guess maybe to take over this world. But why is he working alone? Where's the other villains? Why they not helping him? Shouldn't we have all come together to crush everybody if this was going to be right. the final fight? And I thought he was just like a commander, not like the top head of the thing. But whatever. I guess he was. Yeah, there's still more to unfold here. But, I mean, should our squad made it look easy. Right. They said we ain't going out to the fight. There's a plan in motion. Sit back, chill, relax. They just they needed to make everything look good. They had to set the stage, mm -hmm. get it all nice and pretty. Look like it was, you know, going to be a real war to get Ratcatcher out there. And then Ratcatcher also was enraged by dead shot, so he wanted to wanted to make it personal. But got outsmarted. But five minds are better than one. Yeah, and um, then he said, "Ha ha, you missed." And then he's like, oh, <laughs> never right. Yeah. So the queen should have some of her people back. Hopefully she don't execute them. And she understands the context of the situation. But she angry, so I don't know what the problem is. And she be lying. She don't like people. She looks at the squad as peasants, and you know how she feel about them. She may never honor her agreement. Yeah. If they're smart, they're not going to let themselves be taken back. Especially if um, Cecil don't got the numbers. Y'all not taking me. Y'all need me. And if y'all want to try, we're going to take y'all out and let the uh, goblins come in and take this place. How about that? Right. Then you can be a peasant. <laughs> but anyway, that's all I got for this one. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Of course, we're going to hear what you guys thought. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel for more And we'll see you guys more. Suicide Squad Isekai. Bye.